<laughs> Kenneth Anger is the original enfant terrible of American cinema. Best known for his outrageous series of books exposing Hollywood scandals half a century before TMZ. Born in California, Anger made his first film in 1936 and studied cinema at university in Hollywood after his family relocated to be near his lesbian grandmother, who encouraged his love of cinema. Creating things makes me happy. An acknowledged adherent of the Telema religion, Anger became close friends with its founder, Alistair Crowley, influencing his entire life's work. Anger's homoerotic 1947 short, Fireworks, resulted in him being put on trial for indecency, though he was subsequently acquitted. The film Puce Moment was filmed in colour and released in 1949. I prefer a film to be a kind of vision, like a silent dream. In 1951, he moved to Paris, becoming the protégé of surrealist artist and filmmaker Jean Cocteau, producing a number of short films including Eau d'Artifice and Inauguration of the Pleasure Dome. In 1959, he published the first of his scandalous Hollywood Babylon books in France, and following his return to the US in 1961, his influential gay biker movie, Scorpio Rising, was released with a full rock and roll soundtrack. The film was seized for obscenity on its 1963 debut, overcoming US pornography laws in the Supreme Court. Hollywood Babylon's first English language release in 1965 was immediately banned in the US for 10 years. The book was updated and republished in 1974, followed by a sequel in 84 and a TV series in 92. Hollywood Babylon is considered the original fake news, spawning a slew of celebrity urban legends. Errol Flynn and the two teenagers who made him pay for his passion. In 1969, Invocation of My Demon Brother was released, starring and scored by Mick Jagger. <laughs> Rabbit's Moon, which was mostly filmed while Anger lived in Paris, was released in 1972, with a short and re-release in 79. In 1981, after a decade in production, Lucifer Rising was finally released to critical acclaim. The film, representing the telemic prophecy of the coming Eon of Horus, starred British singer Marion Faithful, but didn't include its original soundtrack composed by Led Zeppelin's Jimmy Page. In the following decades, Anger's life and works were explored in several documentaries, but he produced little original work himself. In 2009, a retrospective of his work went on show in New York, with a similar London exhibition the following year. With more lurid stories expected when Hollywood Babylon 3 is published, including a chapter on Tom Cruise and the Scientologists, Kenneth Anger's personal magic will be felt long after he departs this realm.